Hey guys, Weekly Piano here. Um, today I'm going to show you how I transcribe things. Transcription is one of the most important things that you can do as far as learning how to improvise in a jazz context on the piano. So, um, what I did was I downloaded Oscar Peterson's C Jam Blues live. There are various ways you can do this on YouTube. Um, I think keepvid.com is the one that I used. You go to keepvid.com and then you take the URL of the YouTube link and put that into the little box there. It'll give you instructions so you can actually download the video or the audio of it. So that's what I did here for CJ Jam Blues. Um, I recommend using an application called Transcribe. Uh, it's like 25 bucks, well worth the purchase. Um, so now I have the MP4 of Oscar Peterson's CJ Jam Blues and I'm gonna grab it and drag it into Transcribe. And it opens up sound wave. Bam. Um, now I'm going to expand this to take up the full screen. Um, I've got it plugged into my speakers here. I've got a little sound system hooked up. You can just do it through headphones if you want. It's all the same. As long as you can hear this and you can hear the piano that you're working on. So uh, check this out. This is the beginning of the track. And you just kind of wait until you hear the point where you want to start transcribing. You can see the sound wave here, it's going. So that's where I want to start. So see the sound wave bubbles up there when it's louder? So I go somewhere right before that. Okay, that's where I'm starting. You use, hit the space bar to stop and the space bar to play again from wherever you clicked on the sound wave. So click with the mouse on the point where you want to start transcribing from, and then spacebar starts, and spacebar stops, and then starts again from the same location. It's a very useful tool. Um, so, listen to it, get the key that you're playing in. Obviously it's C Gem Blues, so it's in C. Um, and now, the way that I begin transcribing this, if I can, I do it at full speed. If you can't, you click the 50% button here, and it'll slow it down half as much. And it makes it easier. Let's just start there. Let's say that we can't get it at full speed. Okay, so now it's 50%, and I know this, I'm hearing that first note, and then I hear the second note, and you just have to listen to it and then estimate where it is. So, I recognize that interval as that. If you, like, if you play that, it doesn't sound the same. If you play that, it doesn't sound the same. But then you hear that, and it sounds the same as what he played here. And then, so you stop, and then play a little further, and then... And then try to play it and mimic it. And if it sounds, if it's, if you figure out what it is the same, then you move on and you go a little further. Sometimes I'll like pretend I'm playing on the piano, but still listening to that so that I can get the fingers in my muscle, the fingering in my muscle memory, and then actually play it. Oh, so that next part, he went down there, and then he did another interval. So then if you want to, you if you want to focus on that, you click right on the sound wave where that f part of the phrase begins, and then you press play, and it'll it'll play from there. Okay? That's what it was. So then you go back to the beginning again, click closer to the beginning. Obviously, I've listened to this before, so I kind of know what's coming up. But that, but that's how you do it. So this next part, you want to click on the part that you have trouble with and play.
I'll just do it. Skipping the the G sharp. Okay, so now once you get that, go back to the beginning, or you can go back in increments. So like. So So you got that now you go back a little further. But it, do this all in phrase length. So I did like I think it was 8 bars or 4 bars there. Um and then I now I'm, I I worked from the back forward. Now I'm going to work from the forward backward until I can play the full phrase. far enough to go to the beginning. you've got it you speed it up so I did like a four bar phrase or whatever it was a 50% there's a little like slow walking guy to running guy if you move that little knob up to 60 now it's a little faster feel free to stop and listen to it at any point Again, 10% um, to 71%. Maybe put back a little further so that you can have some time to ramp up to it. Whoops. All right, I missed that, so let's go back to it. Again. Yep. Okay. Now speed it up again, ten percent. Up another 
and then you're up to 100%. And mind you, you'll, get, you'll make a lot of mistakes along the way, and you'll have to keep restarting a lot more than I'm doing it right now, and it'll take you a lot longer. I'm expediting this for the purposes of demonstration, but this is um, the method to do it. So this is at 100%. Once you get there, it should sound like this. <laughs> feel is very very important so you'll get it to 100% but the feel won't be great and when you listen to Oscar play it you hear his swing feel very very consistent and you really have to like embody that when you're playing so keep going through it until you feel like you get that started transcribing this but I haven't really gotten that far through it. It's really fun when you get into it and you like when you're really deep into figuring out what he's doing feel-wise and note-wise it can be very exciting. So um, I would recommend that specific one because that's great for for a lot of jazz vocabulary and it's great for feel um, and some left-hand stuff too. Let me know if you have any questions or um, uh, or comments. Feel free to leave stuff in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.